I also want to start talking about being a business owner. <laughs> being a small business owner myself, I have certainly learned quite a bit here in the last couple of years. And I want to share some of those struggles and lessons that I've learned and pitfalls and challenges that I have come into throughout my entrepreneurial journey. So I have been an entrepreneur my whole life. <laughs> you know, looking back, I was the kid that collected rocks in the neighborhood and sold them to my neighbors for candy money. I made art uh, in my backyard and I would go door to door and sell the art for, I had ranges from five cents all the way to a dollar that my neighbors could buy. So I was doing door to door sales really ever since I can remember, <laughs> which is really, really cute. And I am so grateful that I grew up in an area and in a time where I could express my need to sell things <laughs> in that way, in a safe environment and with neighbors that I, I knew and my parents trusted. My first really kind of scary moment was having to do payroll, <laughs> having to set up my own payroll company. And here I am, you know, a benefits expert. I have helped tons of businesses with their payroll and integrating payroll with benefits. But when it's your own bank account and it's your own money going out, uh, it is adds a whole other level, or at least it did for me. And going through that process and looking at which vendors am I gonna shop? Who am I gonna look at? How am I going to assess all of my options? Because there are so many options out there. Which one do I wanna pay more money? Do I wanna pay less money? Do I want it done with you? Do I want it done for you model? I'm running it myself through a program for even less money and going through all of those questions in my mind and understanding exactly what my costs are gonna be and how to technically do this, to you know, what buttons to push, try not to mess it up, where to send the money for taxes and all of those fun things. So that was probably one of my first oh shit moments, <laughs> if I am gonna be frank where I realized that, okay, I'm really running a business, I'm really running payroll, this money is really coming out of this account at this time, and I'm committing to this. You know, this isn't something that, uh, I'm not buying a pair of shoes, it's a reoccurring cost that has to be funded and has to have money in the bank for, and really putting my big girl pants on and, and making that happen, so that, was a moment for me, for sure. And I would say the actual function and operationally going through the process of running payroll, even though it was intimidating and I made it to be this bigger thing in my head, it ended up not being so scary and setting all of that up. It was more just following processes, asking questions, talking to vendors, and making the decision on which vendor to use and saying, okay, I'm gonna make this decision and this is what I'm gonna do for the next 12 months. And then I'll reassess it in on this date and just coming up with a date, an arbitrary date or date that makes sense for me to where maybe this isn't my forever solution, but it's a right now solution and it's gonna work for this amount of time and I can always change it later and just moving forward and getting it done. So that's been really the best way forward for me in these last 12 or so months is taking action every single day, even if I'm intimidated in some way or scared in some way and doing it anyway and knowing that I can figure it out. So hopefully you found that information useful and interesting. Uh, thank you for hanging out until the end. I do have a link down below if you'd like to schedule a meeting with me. I do ask for a brief questionnaire to be completed and we'll see you next time.